Hey, what's going on everybody? Why some people keep growing their hair thicker and it stays thick for the rest of their lives while some individuals keep losing their hair and it's thinning, thinning year by year by year. In this video, I'm gonna help you better understand your hair loss and hair growth cycle. By the way, this is Matt. You're watching my hair transplant channel where it's all about stopping our hair loss, getting our hair back and hair transplant. So make sure you subscribe right now in order to be able to to enjoy videos like this one in the future. So I'm gonna try to make this whole complex hair loss problem because it's complex, but I'm gonna try to simplify it as much as possible for you. So just sit back in your chair, couch, or be the bed and just enjoy this video. Try to get as much out of it as you possibly can. For our normal human beings, we are not scientists. We only differ between hair growth and hair loss because that's what we see in the mirror. Either we are growing our hair, it's thick, it's nice, we style it, it doesn't fall out, or it falls out. Which means means if your hair is thick, it's nice and it's shiny, you comb your hair several times and no hair will fall out or maybe just one, two hair. That means that most of your hair is actually in a growing phase, in the anagen phase and only few hairs are in the hair loss stage, in the telogen phase where your hair is falling out and new hair is starting to build down here. Okay, we have the anagen, catagen, telogen phase. The last one is just an illustration of how the hair is falling out during the telogen phase and how new hair starts to build, okay? We have the hair growth phase. Fortunately, this phase lasts two to six years in most individuals, in healthy individuals, and the hair loss phase actually only lasts for about three to four months, okay? So this is great. However, if you are not having healthy hair, if you're somebody like me, predisposed to hair loss, let's simplify it right now, then this growing phase will only last usually on the top of your head for about one year, sometimes even less. And then the cycle repeats much faster. You just get like six months to 12 months of growing and then it will already come to the telogen phase when the hair starts to fall out and thin for about three months before it starts to grow again, but it will grow thinner. See that, that, that new hair that will grow here after every phase, every cycle, if you are unhealthy, if you have balding problems, <laughs> like male pattern baldness, the hair here at the beginning of every new phase, after the old hair will fall out, new hair will start building up, but it will start growing in a smaller diameter. That's why new hair will come up, but it will be thinner. That means that you are balding. That's why it's always good, guys, if you start noticing some Thin, hair thinning at the top, don't wait until you get completely bald, until you get complete bald spots. That's a mistake. You should already start treating your hair loss when your hair is thinner in diameter in comparison when it was a couple months, couple years ago. I know you won't measure it with a microscope normally, but you can kind of see that you lost some hair and that you grew new hair and but it's kind of thin you know you, you have the feeling in your hands when you're just combing it when you're styling your hair you see that the hair is thinning that's why it's great to start with some hair loss prevention uh, there is a whole playlist on my channel about hair loss prevention about finasteride minoxidil prp some approved things that work against hair loss unfortunately nowadays we don't have any better things any more useful things to prevent hair loss so these are some things on my playlist that you can check out. There are some DHT blockers that you also have to check out because those things will stop your hair loss, guys. So make sure you check out those videos. How about you start taking minoxidil finasteride? You maybe take a couple PRPs every single year. How will it affect this cycle? Basically, your hair will be longer in this growing stage and it's not gonna be six to 12 months, but maybe you will you will able be able to prolong it on like two years, right? And after these two years, it will again fall out, then new hair will start building, but it's not gonna be thinner this time, but it's gonna be as thick as it was before, or it will become even thicker. If you use things like finasteride, minoxidil, uh, if you will use PRP, DHT blockers, laser helmet, this is what you can do over 
the longer period of time. So actually, this is what people mean with regrow hair. You want to regrow any hair that it's not there anymore. You will only make hair thicker. There is no hair regrowth. That's why if you watch videos on hair regrowth, there is no hair regrowth, guys. You cannot make a bald head full of hair, all right? You can only make velous hair thicker. Velous hair, it's thin hair. We want to stay in this hair growth phase as long as possible and the hair loss phase, we cannot really affect it. It takes usually three to four months. The switch between hair growth and hair loss cycle, it's gonna happen no matter what, by any healthy individual. But the lifespan, the whole time that it takes from hair growth to hair loss cycle should be the longest. It shouldn't happening like every year or twice a year. That's not good, that's unhealthy. It should happen really after two to seven years to switch from hair growth to hair loss for a couple months and then here. The dermal papilla is a crucial component of the hair follicle. This is the hair follicle here. This is the hair shaft. This is the hair follicle is inside and dermal papilla is a crucial component which is connected to your hair follicle, giving the hair follicle signals. Grow, shed, fall out, things like that. Build structure build, multiply the cells, multiply the hair cells. This is what the dermal papilla is telling your hair. What happens after some people are not more able to grow hair on their scalp, the dermal papilla becomes so confused because the dermal papilla is no more getting the right signals from so-called WNT pathways, protein pathways, which are telling the derma papilla to induce hair because that's what she, the derma papilla is doing. He's building new hair, okay? That's that's what she's doing here, see? But what happens, and science is not really clear on that yet, which factors exactly can promote the activity of WNT pathways so they're getting the derma papilla, the right signals, so it can build the hair. We don't really know how to directly affect those WNT pathways so they can make the hair stay in the growing phase as long as possible and then switch to the hair loss phase. And the hair loss phase cannot be avoided, it cannot be even minimized, it will be there and it will last for about three to four months. We cannot minimize the period, we just have to kind of grow through it, live with it and go back to hair growth phase. Hey guys, let me know how you like this video. I hope this video helped you to better understand the hair loss and the whole hair growth and hair life cycle. Let's call it this way. Please let me know in the comments how you liked it. Like this video, subscribe. And for all you guys who are interested in a hair transplant, please check out my free newsletter on mattdominance.com. The link is also in the description below where you can get my free ebook, five things I wish I'd known before my hair transplant. After you download it, you automatically subscribe to my newsletter where you will be getting some very useful information on hair transplant clinics great quality great price and it's all for free guys so other than that i would like to wish you a great day and i'm looking forward to you in the next video